I have never been closer to the performers in Mamma Mia than I was at the current production by Stages St. Louis. I have never felt closer to the characters either. The intimacy in the Kirkwood Community Center Theater made the Stages version uniquely involving in my experience. Mamma Mia is a jukebox musical featuring songs of the Swedish pop group ABBA within a book by Katherine Johnson based on an idea by Judy Kramer. The catalyst for the story is 20-year-old Sophie Sheridan, who wants to find out who her father is before she marries her boyfriend, Skye. From an unauthorized access to her mother's diary, Sophie has found the names of three men who might be her father. Sophie has invited all three to the wedding without informing her mother, Donna, whose taverna on a Greek island is where the wedding will take place. Also coming are Rosie and Tanya, the backup singers in the band Donna fronted before she settled down on the island. As I said, I found this story more involving than ever at stages, thanks not only to the intimacy of the theater, but also to the fine production directed by Michael Hamilton. The cast is anchored by the Donna of Stages favorite, Corinne Melanson, who has played all three members of Donna's band on Broadway. Other familiar faces include Danielle Williamson as Rosie, Dana Winkle as Tanya, David Schmittu as Harry Bright, Steve Isom as Bill Austin, David Sajewicz as Sky, and Samarissa Bell Stevens, an absolute charmer as Sophie. New to stages is Greg Goodbrod, who Sam Carmichael suggests that his return would be welcome. The show is a pleasure to listen to and look at thanks to Lisa Campbell Albert's musical direction, Stuart and Elmore's orchestral design, James Wilk's scenic design, Brad Musgrove's costumes, Tony Gonzalez's choreography, and Sean M. Savoy's lighting, which turned the overture into a light show. Don't pass this production by just because you've already seen Mamma Mia. Stages made me see it in a new light. Well, good. Yeah, I'm not sure I, how many times I want to see Mamma Mia again, <laughs> but uh, and it, it really forced to get some of those songs into the story. But it's very catchy music, as its popularity proves. Let's hear some of it. Now. 